I didn't know this church was there that long, or this was the only church. I'm going to have to find out about it myself from what you done told me. But if this is the oldest church in this area since 1902, wow. Not this building, but that's that lot there. That's amazing. But that whoever owns, whoever the minister is there, obviously it's still there because the, the grounds are kept up very nice. And like I say, uh, I mentioned, I do see quite a few people coming in sometimes. It's like I just don't see them all the time. So I didn't know that this was one of the oldest church, uh, black churches in this area. I'm going to have to go down there and just to go just to see and sit in the ambiance. It's still a nice, be beautiful building on a nice lot. So I have to get and go and see that now. This is, I would say this would be a nice place to go when uh, you have the, the dreaded heat and everything to be a cooling center or just to see, uh, you know, like I say, just to sit and be in the ambiance or something that this lot was that old, even if it's not the same building. This church has so much history. And nobody never really talks about it. I'm going to have to ask the old guys about this. They can tell me. Wow. But that's, that's really nice to see that it is something old that is still standing, even if it's not the original building that is still there and it's, and it's still hope for this area. That's amazing. I really didn't know that, so that'll give, that alone gives me hope for the area since you told me this is still here. I would say this will give this, uh, this whole area some hope. We got something that's still been around since 1902 that people can lay their hat on to say, I still hope for this in this neighborhood. Wow. That's just, that's amazing. And that's a beautiful.